So I just want to talk about that meditation and rest. I am an advocate of some kind of nap or meditation during the day. If you're someone who's out pushing and pounding, having to do multiple things, you can really start to push the brain. And although you might be able to go without the nap or the meditation, I really do believe that a nap or a meditation during the day is a phenomenal way for you to, to, to really be in this for the long run, to really set your overall physical health and your overall mental perseverance because in the end of the day if you push yourself and you can do so much but a couple of weeks down the line comes and you can't wake up or you want to take the day off I would rather be setting myself up with short breaks and getting rested and recovered rather than being the type of person that is pushing and pushing and pushing and then the wheels fall off I'm off for going to the end and push into the max, but don't be setting yourself up for the wheels to come off. Set yourself up to go all out, do whatever it takes, but also do the things that, 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 that enable you to actually do more in the long run, to be able to push more than anyone else, to be able to do more than anyone else. Because if you do that, then you will achieve more than the person that just kept hammering. So naps, meditation, absolutely phenomenal for your day, for your health, for your energy. And whenever you see, do you ever see people halfway through the day start to get tired, they slouch on the seat? I don't do that. I, I always stay ready on point and then I will lie down and just conk out for whatever time I have and just really balance myself so I can go out and do more. If you can get into the habit of something like that, something that works for you, not something that you have to do, you'll start to notice you'll have more energy and you'll be enough for the long run.